thank you so much for watching. Mostly say I am Project Thought. Welcome to back to back. <laughs> Hi. All right. How did you like this Tuesday's video? Huh? Huh? Did you like it? Thanks, yar. Coming to today's topic. So I was on vacation. So I thought, you know what? Let's just make a amazingly hilarious video about how uh, interesting family vacations are. Do you remember this video we did, which is called Awkward Family Reunions? There was this step-by-step -step process of trying to get to killing yourself. It's very much same here. So let's get started, okay? important for obvious reasons and it starts with the most amazing destinations like yeah this is Thailand chalte hai. yeah dude let's have an imported holiday yeah this time Thailand Achha, chalo, let's settle for Shimla Kulu Manali it's very hot in Mumbai right now yeah dude let's go there yeah it's very hot itte dur jana hai Lanavla chalte yeah dude let's go to Lanavla main packing karti hu all right now that the destination is locked because you have never ever been there before how about we choose where to stay yeah now that we've compromised on the destination let's take like a high end five star resort five star dude five star hello ganpat guest house now this was just a hypothetical literal representation of how things actually go down while planning vacations i mean indian families take international vacations all the time and they make sure that all the people outside of india know that we're indian coming to that in a while moving on step number 2 packing now if you try to raid an indian home you'll find that we have two types of luggage baggage ish thingies type number 1 is the one which is like really small which can fit like i don't know a water bottle and a napkin and some food and you know the ones that we take for like one day picnics to essel world or other amusement parks type number 2 is the kind where we could fit our entire family in it and transport the whole thing across the globe yeah that's how big our suitcases are and if we have to go for a one day vacation we have type number 1 if we have to go from a two day vacation to a two year vacation it's type number 2 so we are going for eight days i at least need 32 pairs of clothes and i don't think we should use the hotel towels yeah let's take our own towels use them there and then let's get the hotel towels to use here theplas farsan chakli juice box theplas khakra dhokla thepla cheese or bread jam butter thepla last time i checked we were going on vacation and not migrating to a new planet we need to chill hi find me on the thepla bit Step number 3 is the journey. Now before the journey starts, our parents do this obsessive thing of calling everybody is going to be on the trip and doing this. Packing thali ka. Anyway, when the journey begins, it doesn't matter if it's a um you know car ride to Lonavla or a train ride to Manali or even a flight ride to anywhere else in the world. One thing is going to be happening for sure. Leke Prabhu ka naam maiya yashoda ding 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 ye tera kaniya ding 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 wa Looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, it's a blast! And of course, during the journey, there will be this one or two aunties going. Thepla to thepla, chuda bai de. Hey, yar, mula no chakli kha chakli, ya ya. Guy, nusti kana ta kun basle de thepla kha. Hey, limlet chigori ka malam mor mor te. You can survive an apocalypse with limlet chigori and theplas, mind you. Step number four is sightseeing. Now, of course, I'm assuming that our family has already reached. The destination has checked into the hotel, criticized the hotel rooms, fought with the reception for I don't know, garam pani yath nahi hai burka, and then just going back and saying mast hai ki nahi hotel chhan hai photo card. Then comes the sightseeing, yeah, fun, <laughs> so much fun here. Yeah. <clears throat> Now there's a reason why, especially if you travel outside of the country, people are gonna right away know you're Indian. They're just gonna be like Indian because our ancestors have made sure that they get scarred by the Indian name for life. For example, let's take a desert safari. What do people tell you then? No flash photography. Do not talk loudly. Do not signal the animals like. No no doesn't work they are not moti tommy tuffy brownie lucky blacky okay and what do we do we use all the flash photography in the world to flash the poor animals in their faces we talk loudly we shed theplas i have seen people sharing theplas over the desert safari like chahiye we are rebels we like breaking rules and god forbid you go sightseeing to a beach <laughs> nothing more attractive than an indian on the beach first of all in india we do not have a beach culture oh my god bikini ghatli about tini nagdi so you have to classify indian males and females on the beach females are usually going to be in a salwar kameez or a sari tucked till here holding it between their knees standing at the 
shallowest end of the beach and judging everybody else for wearing a bathing costume. The Indian males, however, are going to be free spirited. They don't give a shit. Do they know? They do not. Yeah, what do they do? Half sleeved banyan tucked into a checkered three fourth track pant slash Bermuda slash ugly. And they're going to be flashing their above the waist intimates to everybody around because, hi, what's, what's the point of that banyan? So every time it gets wet in the water, it's see through. You can see through it. Why do you. It's, it's good you wear actually, at least before you get into the water, we are not traumatized. So yeah, good job, good choice. Now, another aspect of sightseeing is no matter which corner of the world you go to, if you want to see where Indians are, find them in an Indian restaurant. <laughs> we go out looking for people that serve the food that we can have all the time in India because priorities. Step number five is shopping. Now, to everybody else, shopping is pleasurable. Shopping is leisure. Shopping is, you know, <laughs> Whatever. But for Indians, no, it's not. Shopping is a huge deal, all right? Because there's like 1,200 expectant people sitting back in your country waiting for you to get something for them, something, anything. And you have to live up to the expectations, okay? You get a lot of performance pressure. A lot of times, I swear to God. <laughs> one second, not telling you, one second. So, Mama Ji, Mama Ji, family, Mama Ji, two sons, Mama Ji, three sons, and Mama Ji, three sons, but you have to take this Mama Ji, then you have to take this Mama Ji, and you have to take this Mama Ji, then 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 you have to take this Mama Ji, back and then finally when all of this is done our families do the blessed thing of returning back home from vacation trip and of course a lot of things happen after that like you come and then brag about that certain vacation for like the longest time and make all other people who couldn't come because of exams or sickness feel bad about their lives but eh, whatever so that was my take on indian family vacations and it wasn't my take it was a reflection of my life that's how tedious the process is so next time you're planning a family vacation you have your to-do list. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to come up with new videos every Tuesday and every Thursday. One more vacation trip vlog is coming on Tuesday. So wait for that. And if there are any more things that happen with your families, because hey, we're all weirdos here, all right? Put it in the comments below and let's educate each other, okay? I will see you again on Tuesday until we meet. Love, love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Mumbai.